that lovely face belongs to Morgan Fairchild, who portrays Jennifer Pace Phillips on Search for Tomorrow, one of the most durable and popular of soap operas on CBS and TV 11. My first question to you, does it help you get a job to be extraordinarily good looking? <laughs> Um, no, not really. Especially in this day and age, frequently um, having any kind of looks or anything about you sort of goes against you. This is the age of real people. I've lost so many commercials because I come in and they say, oh, we're looking for real people. And you say, well, I'm a real person. And they say, no, you're too pretty. And they say, well, have you ever looked out on the street? There are pretty people out there in the real world. And they say, no, you don't have a hook now. We want somebody. <laughs> it's this whole well, community. how did you get your job on Search for Tomorrow? I went to an audition, and they liked me, so I got the job. You know, very simple. Why. Were there many people trying out? Oh, sure. Competition for soap opera jobs in New York is very stiff. Now, as Jennifer, the adjective that the network uses to describe you is troubled. Now, considering I think all that the things... very nice of them. Considering all the things you've been through in your character, that's an understatement. Um, exactly. For instance, what, name the things that have gone through, that you've gone through in your career. Oh, how far back do you want me oh, to go? Oh, six, six months, say. Six months. Um, okay, well, last fall, well, you have to know some of the background, I guess, because it all no, gets together. No, just the things well, that I happened started, here. Okay, I, I started having an affair with a married man, and uh, then I got him to leave his wife. Well, in the meantime, his father was uh, in an automobile accident, was paralyzed from the neck down, and was begging everyone to kill him. And my lover wanted to kill him but didn't have the guts to do it. And I was afraid he'd do it. So I went out and I helped kill him. But I couldn't do it either. So somebody else really did it, but I helped. So then I had to go to prison, naturally. So I ended up in prison for a while where I wouldn't join a reform group. So they locked me in the meat freezer. Right. So I spent a while in the meat freezer. Then I got out. In the meantime, in the midst of all of this, I got pregnant. Right. Pregnant, right? Prisoner. Yes, a pregnant prisoner. And um, uh, the wardrobe, my wardrobe is absolutely incredible. I do nothing but live in prison smocks, hospital smocks. Uh, <laughs> I'm supposed to be the sex symbol. I tell them I should get a black lace negligee once in a while, but they won't ever give it to is me. Is this doing anything to you? I mean, do you feel impending doom always? No. <laughs> Not really. You like it. Uh, well, yeah. Well, I would rather be doing a, a character like this that has some problems and, and some kind of complexity to her than uh, some simpering ingenue that comes on and says, Oh, I'm so happy. You know, what, uh -huh. are, what are you going to do with that? That's no dramatic challenge. What kind of a guy do you like? Do I like? You mean in real life or on the show? In real life. In real life. Well, I like... I usually go for dark guys. I mean, just physically. Usually they're dark. Usually they're not just huge. And um, I like quiet guys. I have to say, I'm an Aquarian. I get turned on by a guy's mind. The more I talk to somebody, I don't just fall head over heels in love all the time. I, I get to know somebody, and then I sort of fall in love. I'm the kind of person who becomes sort of friends first. I like somebody I can talk to. I like somebody that makes me feel like they care about me, that, um, that I'm special, that he knows I have faults, but, you know, you like me anyway. What, what any woman likes, I think, pretty much. Are you a bright girl? I have a very high IQ. You wouldn't know it to look at me. I, I hardly know what to say. <laughs> I take your word. Yes, I, I would believe I believe anything. When you look, when, when, on you, the chart. when you turn those blues on me, I'll believe anything you tell me. Oh, Milton, you're <laughs> so gullible. <laughs> You, uh, you like to be in the soaps. I attended a press conference uh, that you conducted, and uh, somebody asked you if you'd like to be in a prime time show, and uh, as a good, ambitious actress, you said, yes, I would. Oh, yeah, well, I think most people on soaps who are in my position career-wise at the same press conference, I said that there are some people for whom working in a soap opera is the ideal way of life, people who have families and things that they um, don't necessarily want to leave. Um, for me, for a young single person like myself, uh, most of us would sort of jump at the chance. But how nice to be on one of the most successful of Oh, yes. You're good to be on Omelet with us, and we thank well, you Well, thank much. you very much. This is the troubled Jennifer Pace Phillips, who plays Morgan Fairchild on Search for Tomorrow, our guest on Omelet.